When a dentist from Minnesota shone the spotlight on hunting in Africa this year, he started a debate that Michaela is happy to have with anyone. Is hunting African animals good for African animals? Yes, she says, it is. Hunters pay lots of dollars compared to ordinary tourists. Most big animals in Africa have to pay their way. Today, Michaela is out after a zebra in South Africa that is here because of hunting. No hunting, no zebra. The rolling hills of the Eastern Cape are beautiful. Nelson Mandela is buried here, and this place is famously good for big game hunting, which he enjoyed too. Here he is with a bless box he shot in 1991 in the Low Veld. And here is Michaela's herd of zebra. They have spotted her, but they do not know yet if she is a threat. Michaela and the zebra start a game of African snakes and ladders. She goes up and gets some height on them, they run down the hill. She creeps round to get below them, they run up the hill. She spends a lot of time in the heat of the African day waiting for them, trying to stay out of sight. Sometimes she gets them in her sights, but this is not death in the long grass. This group is a textbook picture of when not to shoot. The bullet could go through one of them and injure another behind it, so Michaela doesn't shoot. At last, everybody is in the right place. The one she shoots is so full of adrenaline it runs off into the bush. Sure enough, there is blood. This is when they use the dogs. Michaela is really happy. She's having a smoke and telling the Czech viewers about the hunt when her host surprises her. Ah oh well, she's Czech. She's used to hunting traditions. There are all kinds of game here, and I say it again, they are only here thanks to hunting. There is even a giraffe. Some people don't like giraffe hunting, but when you have an old bull and his trophy will pay for you to keep his family safe from poachers, why not sell him? Michaela has a client, a businessman from Slovakia, who wants to hunt just such a giraffe. They are now in the free state in the centre of South Africa. First, they spot a family of giraffes who eye them warily. As you can see, here is a giraffe's family, but here is no one good old bull, nothing. We are just leaving, but we gotta keep walking and try to find some old bull what we can shoot. When it happens, it happens quickly. On the shot. Again, again. Reload. Come, 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 come. They reach the spot where the animal should be standing, but there's nothing there. They're worried that the shot is too far back on the animal and that it's running injured into the bush. Then they spot it on the ground. Okay, stop! Good, 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 good. Michaela's client is very happy. She calls up the vehicle. So successful, we got everything done. So you can pick us and yeah, giraffe is down. It's perfect. The professional hunter is pleased that the animal dropped at once, but he gives Michaela's client some instruction on where to shoot next time. You need to go up the front leg and shoot on this part over here. Mm -hmm. It looks like you're going too much forward, but you're still hitting all the vitals of the head here. Michaela wants you to see this not because she thinks you're going to rush out and book a giraffe hunt, but because it shows what the big game hunting business in South Africa is like. The professional hunters are really skilled. Not only do they know how to track game, they know how to set it up for a good photograph after it's done, and they can discuss how the client would like it skinned, ready for the taxidermist. Okay, I think you want the shoulder mount with the legs. Okay, perfect. And the back skin? Yes, we will keep a back skin and also the legs. Back legs. Loading the giraffe onto the truck is not easy either. The game handling facility here is superb and the staff are soon at work cutting the cape of the animal to the client's requirements. And they even get to eat some of the giraffe that evening. Nothing goes to waste. This is Africa.
For more about Michaela's hunting stories and for more videos, visit michaelcushunting.com.